he gets out of here, the body count could reach catastrophic levels. Ah! It's now or never. Huh. I don't know if we can handle this guy.
Unbelievable! Nothing's hurting him! You it this way! You go bye-bye!
Hey, Trunks, which one's the Majin? Beats me. I don't know any of these guys. <sighs> oh, and Majin Boo, feel free to finish the Supreme Kai off. Deborah, you're still alive! Lord Bobbity, this creature, Majin Buu, is not like the others. He will not serve you as your loyal servant. He must be eliminated immediately. You insolent little... Turn into cookie! Yeah! Um. Magnificent! Very good, Martin Poo! <laughs> oh. Piccolo, what's going on? The spell's broken. Uh, what what are you two doing here? Ah! What about you guys? What are you doing here? Well, we were statues until just now. But it looks like that creep who spit on us died, and everyone's back to normal. <gasps> what is this unbelievable energy? No, it, it can't be. Is that Majin Buu? Majin Buu, devour this fool as well. Okay, okay! Uh. Vegeta, who was empowered by Babidi's spell and more determined than ever, remained locked in fierce combat with Goku. In the midst of the battle, the two Saiyans began to sense a massive energy that suddenly appeared in the distance. Realizing the energy must belong to Majin Buu, Goku pleaded with Vegeta to stop the fight so they could focus on defeating the new threat. Vegeta knew Goku would no longer be able to concentrate on their battle, so he agreed, or so it seemed. It was just a lie to make Goku lower his guard. With Goku distracted, Vegeta knocked him unconscious. He then made his way to Majin Buu's location, ready to fight the menace he helped bring back into existence. Majin Buu's free because of me, so I'll be the one to get rid of him. I'll settle the score with you after that. That is, if I make it back alive. Right. Time to go meet this Majin Buu face to face. Gohan's energy is already gone. Forgive me. This is my fault. That's it, huh? I might as well destroy it while I can. My, 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 my ship! Oh, blast it! What in the world is going on? Hey there! Uh, Vegeta, what have you done? I don't recall telling you to destroy my ship! So that fat bastard with the ugly mug is Majin Buu, huh? You, 
You killed Gohan, didn't you? <gasps> you... Gohan! Ugly mug! What's that? It means he thinks you have a strange face. <laughs> now boo angry! I'm not going to hell on my own. I'm taking you all with me! <laughs> Impossible! Don't underestimate me! Come 
You're the real cause behind all this, Bobbity. This... this can't be! your mom for me what are you talking about dad what do you mean take good care of mom you need to get as far away from here as you can i'm going to fight majin buu on my own no way we're gonna fight too the three of us can take him down for sure trunks i haven't given you a single hug since the day you were born have i huh Come here, son. Uh... Dad? Uh... uh, uh, uh what are you doing, Dad? Cut it out! You're embarrassing me! from here as you can. I'm counting on you, Piccolo. You're prepared to die, aren't you? Just tell me one thing. If I die, will I be able to see Kakarot in the other world? I'm afraid not. You've killed too many innocent people. When you die, you'll lose your body, and your soul will be carried off to a different world. I see. That's too bad. Now, get out of here. Hurry! No! Boo, no, let you go! Wait, Majin Boo! You're going to have to defeat me first! You got that? Fight me, you brain dead balloon! Uh, you say mean things, even though you're weak! I finally know how to get rid of you. Once and for all. Hey! What in the world is Vegeta doing? He's gonna get himself killed! For the first time ever. He's finally fighting to protect someone other than himself. Throwing his life away to do it. To make sure you can't put yourself back together, I'm going to blow you into microscopic pieces!
Here, take these two. I'm going to see what happened. Uh, okay. I see. So if Majin Buu only takes a small amount of damage, his cells can regenerate. To prevent that, Vegeta sacrificed himself to blow Majin Buu into a trillion pieces. We were saved by him, of all people. <laughs> Babidi, you're still alive. Guess I'll have to fix that. Tell me, Majin Buu's fragments, they're... Majin Buu is still alive! to seal you up again? Yeah! Ooh, good! Well done, Margin Boo! That green fool and those two runs have messed with me for the last time! They will learn to fear the great Bobbity and Margin Boo! Reduce this planet to a desolate hellscape, Margin Boo! Kill as many of the Earthlings as it takes to flush those Cretans out of hiding! He's not dead? Margin Boo's not dead? Uh, no way! Vegeta sacrificed himself for nothing? It's not safe here on the surface. Get the kids and everyone else to Kami's lookout, right now! These two are the planet's last chance, as slim as it may be. Ow! I can sense Majin Buu's energy, but I can't sense Vegeta's anywhere. Don't tell me. Vegeta couldn't have gotten himself killed. Oh no. I don't sense Gohan's energy either. What's going on? Hmm? Piccolo and Krillin are both alive. They aren't stone anymore. Okay. They should know what's going on. I'd bet on that. Where would they be? Akami's lookout, maybe? Majin Buu. I wonder what kind of monster he is. Hey! Goku! Is that really you, Goku? You're alive! Yeah, I was hoping you could tell me what's going on. Unbelievable. Gohan and the Supreme Kai? This is too much. Even Vegeta was taken down. 
Majin Buu's power. It's far greater than the Supreme Kai initially feared it would be. If we don't act fast, all life in the universe, let alone here on Earth, will be completely wiped out of existence. Well, not all hope is lost. We've still got you, Goku. If anyone can beat Majin Buu, then it's you. I'll be honest. That's not gonna happen. I can't beat him. Uh? Me and Vegeta were pretty much matched as far as power goes. And Majin Buu? He had no problem taking everything Vegeta threw his way. There's no way around it. I don't stand a chance. Uh, really? Wow. Man, this stinks! If either Gohan or Vegeta were still alive, we might have had a real chance to do something. I don't think so. No, we're gonna need more than just numbers against this guy. He really is that strong. Nah, that's not what I meant. I'm talking about fusion. Huh? Fusion? What's that? Fusion? Where two people merge, right? That's a special technique used by the Metamorans. You know about that? And you're right. I learned the technique from a Metamoran I met in Otherworld. If two people are about the same size and roughly equal in strength, they can combine with each other. Do you understand what this means? Two people can form one person with way more power than either of the original two are capable of by themselves. There is one thing you really need to keep in mind. Apparently, you can only stay combined for 30 minutes. <sighs> now it makes sense. I think I understand. You were hoping to fuse with either Gohan or Vegeta if one of them was alive. You'd form the ultimate warrior and be able to fight Majin Buu. Unfortunately, Gohan and Vegeta, they're both gone. Uh, so this is the worst case scenario, isn't it? Goten and Trunks are sleeping inside. And they are about the same size and strength. Perhaps they could fuse. Hey, that's a great idea, Mr. Popo! Yeah, we could do that. That'll work. Piccolo, I'm gonna do whatever I possibly can to teach the fusion technique to the kids. But it's gonna take some time. At some point in all of this, I'll need you to take over for me. Fine. I got it. This is good! There's hope for us yet! Those kids might be able to pull this off! Right. But understand, it's going to take quite a while before Goten and Trunks are able to perform the technique. The time this will take is something others don't have. A lot of people could die before that happens. Everyone on the planet, even the planet itself, might be wiped out before then. This is a long shot, but we've got no other choice. You're right about that. Even if all of humanity gets wiped out, we've still got the Dragon Balls to bring everyone back. What's going on? It got dark all of a sudden. Wait, is that... Did someone summon Shenron? Wait, but who? Bulma had all of the Dragon Balls last, right? But she doesn't know the situation. What's she doing? Of course! Yeah, that's right! Vegeta killed a bunch of people at the World Tournament! Bulma's gonna ask Shenron to bring them all back! Oh no! If she makes all three wishes now, we'll have to wait another year! I'll go try to stop her! Just as Goku had predicted, Bulma and the others had summoned Shenron to bring back all those killed by Vegeta. The first wish had already been granted, but Goku was able to prevent the last two wishes from being used. Shenron disappeared, and the Dragon Balls scattered, inert for the next four months. Goku then warped the confused group to Kami's lookout, where they would then all be safe from Majin Buu's onslaught.
Here we have an individual brought back to life with the Dragon Balls. I... I'm certain I was killed by Dabara. What? Was I brought back to life? How can that be? What's going on? Where is the Supreme Kai? Oh, good. He's still alive. Supreme Kai! Supreme Kai! Thank goodness, I wasn't too late. Uh, uh, Kibito, w what are you doing here? Uh, I saw you die. You were blown to pieces. Indeed. I too am uncertain how I was able to come back. That's right! Kibito, we have to hurry. Gohan's in danger! Huh? We have to prevent Gohan from dying at all costs! Hmm. <laughs> it looks like we've come to his aid without a moment to spare. Thank goodness. Kibito, we should restore Gohan's strength once we're back in the land of the Kais. Huh? D do you mean to tell me we are going to allow a mortal to step foot in our holy land? Yes, now we need to hurry. He doesn't have much longer. R right Kai Kai. Hmm? What? What the? Huh? Where am I? This is the land of the Kais, our homeworld. Wait, what? Your homeworld? Yes, this is a holy land that even the gods and Kais, let alone mortals, were not to enter. Wait! I thought you died. Do you have the ability to revive yourself? Unfortunately, no. My revival is just as much a mystery to me as it is to you. Uh, uh, why am I here? We hope you'll be able to use the Z-Sword to defeat Majin Buu. You should have what it takes to utilize that sword and its power. Huh? The Z-Sword? Are you sure about this, Supreme Kai? The Z-Sword is not a weapon that a mere mortal could ever wield. Not possible. Neither I nor countless other Supreme Kais could ever make use of the legendary sword. As you were dead, Kibito, you haven't seen how truly remarkable Gohan's power is. At any rate, we should at least try. Come with me. <clears throat> You'll need some more suitable clothes. Whoa. Huh. Kibito and I are wearing matching outfits. It's kind of embarrassing. This is the Z-Sword. Huh. Now please try to remove it. To the best of my knowledge, no one has been able to remove this blade. So... I just need to pull it out, huh? Sounds like something out of a storybook. So... Uh... I'm supposed to pull out this Z-Sword, but then what happens? Legends say you will be imbued with immense power. Perhaps even enough power to destroy Majin Buu. What? <laughs> really? I guess that means this thing's pretty sharp. I'm kind of scared now. 
You can't remove the sword, so you have nothing to fear. Kibito, please be quiet. Gohan must concentrate. Please, Gohan, try to remove the sword. Huh. All right, here goes. <laughs> It's no use. It won't budge. Hmm. All right. Let's try this then. Super Saiyan? Well, I doubt that'll change anything. <laughs> It's no use. Several Supreme Kais before you have tried, and also failed to remove the blade. Why would a mere mortal succeed? Ah! Mm! Look, he did it! I... I can't believe it! I'm just gonna cut straight to the chase, okay? Goten and Trunks are both fine. But Gohan and Vegeta? They were killed by Majin Buu. Huh? <laughs> Gigi! Vegeta! No! He can't! Listen to me, people of Earth! I am using magic to speak to all of you telepathically. Now close your eyes. I have something I'd like to show you. My name is Bobbity, and I am a terrified and powerful wizard. And this here is my loyal servant, the even more frightening Margin Boo. What is this? Are, are, are you seeing this too? Hey, what kind of freaky crap is this? I've run into a bit of trouble today, you see. And now I'm looking for three troublemakers. This one. This one. And this one. If I cannot find these three fools, <laughs> well, allow me to show you what will happen. All right, Margin Boo, do it! Hey! Monster! What has he done? I will warn you one more time. You must tell me where those three are. If you do not, we will exterminate every last one of you five days from now. I eagerly await your reports. Damn that bug-eyed bastard. So those are the guys that killed Vegeta and Gohan. We can't let there be any more casualties. I'm going to confront them. No! Think about it. If you die on us, there won't be anyone to teach Goten and Trunks how to fuse. We have the Dragon Balls. We can use them to repair any damage done and bring back anybody that's been killed. You get it? Fine. <laughs> you're, you're lying! My dad wouldn't lose to, to someone like that! <laughs> My big brother is dead! <laughs> Stop it! 
Now's not the time for tears. If you want to avenge them, focus on learning this new technique. You got it? Let's get started. Everybody pay close attention. All right. Time to learn how to fuse. People of Earth, I've just received some very interesting information. One of the three troublemakers I'm searching for, Trunks, supposedly lives at a place called Capsule Corporation in West City. I think we might head there next. For everyone's sake, he had better be there. I would show myself if I were you, Trunks. Your home won't be around much longer if you don't. Oh no! My grandpa and grandma are still at the house! Goku! Did you hear that just now? My mom and dad are done for! And so is West City, for that matter! It'll be fine, Bulma. We'll bring them back with the Dragon Balls. You don't get it! If my lab gets destroyed, so does the Dragon Radar! The radar requires special parts that you can't just get anywhere! Which means we won't be able to summon Shenron! What? That is a problem. All right, Trunks, hurry back home and try to find the Dragon Radar. Okay, I'll try to stall Bobbity and Majin Buu as long as I can. Are you sure? Aren't you just gonna get your butt kicked? Hmm, I can distract them for at least a little bit. Anyway, hurry before they get to West City! <laughs> I've got to find those guys, and fast! I hope I can buy Trunks enough time. Found them! Yo! It's you! Yeah, and I'm here to deliver a message. Listen up. The three people you're looking for are gonna show up sooner than you think. I can promise you that. Just wait a little longer. Don't destroy anything else or harm any more innocent people. Now why should we wait? Oh, you're up to something, aren't you? You bet we are. We're training to beat you guys. <laughs> beat us, you say? No amount of training could ever make that possible. We're not going to just sit here and wait. You will bring them to us now! You know, I kind of had a feeling you were going to say something like that. Which means I don't really have a choice. Guess I'm going to have to make you wait then. <laughs> Fascinating. Very well then. Show us what you can do. Hey, Martin Boo! What are you doing? Hurry up and obliterate this fool! Okie dokie, Pokey! Come on! What's with that? Why is a strong guy like you taking orders from Bobbity? Hmm? Shut your mouth! I don't recall asking for your opinion! Martin Boo is my loyal servant. He obeys my every command. Hmm. <sighs> what is your problem? Do you want me to seal you up again? If you seal Boo, you did! That guy kill you! <sighs> Curse this creature! When did he start to think for himself? But don't worry! Boo kill him! Boo don't like goody goodies like him! <sighs> <laughs> Looks like it's do or die. <laughs> <laughs> that 
that won't work. Vegeta tried the same thing, and look what happened to him. Good point. Then I guess I'd better kick it up a notch and go one step further. What do you think? What? This is a Super Saiyan. And this is a Super Saiyan level beyond that of Super Saiyan. Let's just call this Super Saiyan 2. What a pathetic transformation! Nothing's different from the previous form! And this... This... Is going... Even further! This is Super Saiyan 3! Sorry it took me so long. I'm still not used to this form just yet. You have scary face now! But Voodoo scared! Yes, yes, precisely, you fool. Now march and boo destroy this ruffian! I need to buy as much time as I possibly can. Ah! This guy's actually enjoying himself. It's like one big game to him. He hasn't taken an ounce of damage from me. What is this guy? You're actually pretty good at this. single dent in this guy. Hm. Trunks' energy is on the move. That means he must have found the Dragon Radar and is leaving West City.
I'm glad to hear that. Shame I don't have the time. I'm gonna be heading back now. Oh, we're not going to just let you get away. Crush him, Majin Buu! Don't forget what I said. The three you're looking for will show up soon, Bobbity. In two days. Do yourself a favor. Stay out of trouble and just wait a little longer. Hey, Strong? Those guys? <laughs> do you really think I'm going to do as you say? <sighs> this kind of stinks. I mean, I was really just beginning to enjoy my fight with Majin Buu. He, he, he disappeared! Hey, he got away! This is your fault! You wasted too much time! Now go find him, you fool! Lord Bobby! Boo have good idea! What? A good idea? You can't speak now, can you? Now you know cast spell to seal Boo! <laughs> Boo learn a lot from you! But Boo no need you now! Here we go. Now that Bobbity's gone, nothing's preventing Majin Buu from going on a rampage. What's wrong, Goku? What's wrong is that I'm officially beat. Who knew transforming into Super Saiyan 3 would do such a number on my body? Won't be long now. I don't have much time left here. So until then, we have to make sure the kids perfect that fusion technique. Those two are the last chance this planet has. I... I got it! This is the Dragon Radar, right? All right. Look, we really don't have much time left. So do yourselves a favor and get ready, you two! Yes, sir! You're gonna need to be able to match one another's energy. But you can practice that later. First, we'll start with the hard part, so pay attention. For the fusion pose, you both have to mirror each other exactly. I'm gonna show you the pose now. So don't take your eyes off me, okay? First, you stand a little bit away from each other. Then, do this. Now, watch the angle of your arms. Phew! With your arms in opposite directions, you take three steps to get closer to each other. Jun? Then, you make fists with your hands. Watch the angle of your legs. Ha! Then, you bring your fingers together like this. And don't forget to extend your legs out really far like this, too. We have to do that? It's so lame. Yeah. To make things a little easier to follow, me and Piccolo are gonna model it for you, okay? What? Wait, we are? Just like this. You both have to move like you're each other's reflection in a mirror. Phew! Jean? Ah! All right, your turn. One, two, one, two. Goku, it's about time we take you back to the other world. 
Yeah, I know. Piccolo? It's up to you. Right. Goku? See you around. Well, uh, not really, but you know what I mean. Goodbye, Goku! Come on, Chi-Chi, don't look so sad. You still got Goten, right? But, but what if he's killed by Majin Buu too? Don't worry. Once he masters this technique, Majin Buu won't stand a chance against him. If I see Gohan on the other side, I'll be sure to tell him you said hi. Okay. <gasps> I... I get the feeling that Gohan is still alive. I hope you're right. I really do. Yeah. Goku, we really must be going now. Right. What is it, Goten? Uh, oh, I know. You want to give your dad a hug, don't you? Oh, is that what you want? Why didn't you tell me earlier? Goten, take good care of your mom. Uh, okay. <sighs> <laughs> All right, everyone, I'm off. Look me up when you die. Man, I don't know how Goku can have such a carefree attitude, even about death. I trust that you can handle things on your own from here, yes? Right. Thanks, Granny! I wonder if Gohan's already made his way to Otherworld. Hmm? Huh? I don't believe it! Gohan! Yeah, that's his energy, all right. But how? Hmm, where is he? Wait, it's not King Kai's place. No. There! What the hell is this place? He's here. Gohan's here. I can sense his energy. Where could he be? He's close. Hey! Huh? Huh, Dad! Uh, what? What in the world are you wearing? Uh, what the? the? The Supreme Kai? Uh, and that old timer? Wait, didn't he die? Uh, Dad, what are you doing here? About that. I see. So Majin Buu's already caused that much damage. So, that's the legendary sword you were talking about, I take it. That thing looks crazy sharp! You said it's the Z-Sword? Indeed. Let's test it out with some catch and tight. The hardest metal in the universe. Haha! <laughs> I bet this thing will cut through that stuff like a hot knife through butter! It's a legendary sword, right? Here goes! Yeah! Hmm. 
No, no way. It broke. This can't be. The, the Z sword. It. But it's the ultimate sword. Well, Supreme Kai, you're the one who wanted to test it out on the hardest stuff around. But, but it was supposed to give its wielder the strongest power in the universe. <laughs> that shows how little you know, doesn't it? Huh? Wait, who's the old guy? Who are you calling an old guy? I'm the Supreme Kai from 15 generations before you. <laughs> 15 generations before me? The, the Supreme Kai? Many ages ago, a truly evil individual feared my special ability so much that he sealed me in that sword that you just broke. He doesn't look like he's got any special abilities. Just looks like an old geezer to me. Uh, yeah. Well, I never. I guess I won't tell you what my special ability is then. What? Come on! I, I was just kidding! <laughs> I'm still not telling you. I'll get a real woman to kiss you if you promise to tell us. Doesn't that sound nice? Uh, are you serious? You're not pulling my leg? Yeah, I'm totally serious. I knew it. He's the same type as Master Roshi. So then, would this power of yours be enough to defeat Majin Buu? Well, I can't say for certain, but yes, it should be. Listen up, Gohan. I can't go back to Earth anymore. I need you to get Bulma up to speed and ask her to cooperate. Uh... Wait... You want me to ask Bulma that? Look, we're saving the whole universe here. It's a good deal if you ask me. <sighs> Even if we do save the universe, Bulma's gonna kill us. Okay, wait. What kind of abilities are we talking about here? Right then. As for my special ability, I can release one's true power and raise it beyond its limits. <laughs> Never heard of an ability like that, have you? What? Seriously? That sounds like a pretty common ability, actually. Ah, how dare you! I said beyond one's limits! Far beyond! You there. You're the one who pulled the sword out, yes? Come here. Right then. Now just stand there and don't move a muscle. Uh, okay. And here we go. For the destruction of Majin Buu. <laughs> <laughs> hey! Hey! Ahem! <clears throat> go! Go! <laughs> Yay! Yay! Um, how long is this gonna take? The ritual takes five hours, but the power increase takes twenty! Huh? Uh, I'm gonna take a nap then. Hang in there, Gohan! Oh, man. A day was about to elapse since training began. Very good, you two. You've more or less perfected it. Think it might be time to see if you can actually pull it off. All right. First, match each other's energy. Uh, okay. Good. Now begin. Countdown to Calamity. Whoa! 
Th this key is overwhelming. They did it. They finally fused. Oh, good. You did it at least this time. In at least 30 minutes, we'll have you try it again as Super Saiyans. <laughs> Don't you think you're underestimating me? I've got what it takes to beat Majin Buu right now. You don't know the first thing about how strong Majin Buu is. There's absolutely no way you can beat him. Not just yet, anyway. So can we trust a little punk like this? In just one single day, the feared Majin Buu easily laid waste to roughly 80% of the planet's population. After turning some of his victims into clay, he constructed a house to come back to after his daily destruction. The people of Earth continued their fight for survival against the Majin menace and deployed their military forces. But that ultimately proved futile, with each force being completely decimated. Soon thereafter, humanity stopped trying. But hope was not completely lost among those remaining. They knew their savior was still alive somewhere and ready to spring into action. The man who overpowered Cell and became the world's, no, the universe's greatest warrior. That savior is none other than the legendary, undefeated warrior, world martial arts champion, Mr. Satan. So that's Majin Buu's house, huh? Well, uh, I wonder if he's home. Uh, I hope he isn't. Oh, he's not here. <laughs> oh, what's the matter, Mozzie Boo? You chicken? Well, uh, that's that then. Uh, he's not here, uh, so I can't fight him. Uh, time to head back now. <laughs> Hi! <laughs> Hello, uh, it's a pleasure to meet you. Wait, wait, wait a second, uh, uh, Mr. Mazian Boo. You see, I've come to see if there's anything I can do for you. <laughs> you want to be Boo's servant? Uh, yeah, of course I do. I've actually uh, uh, brought you a present, Mr. Mazian Boo. Here, it's some premium chocolate. Take it. Chocolate! What? It means it's a very expensive and super delicious. Hmm? Please work. <laughs> he ate it. He actually ate it. <laughs> what an idiot. I put enough poison in that chocolate to kill an elf. So I'm gonna pound you into big putty for this. And so began a strange friendship between Majin Buu and Mr. Satan, with Mr. Satan working tirelessly to keep Majin Buu's mood under control. Several days later. Well, welcome back. 
back. I'm still in the middle of preparing our meal. Well, hey, uh, wh what's that dog doing here? This guy no scared of him. He no run away. I no understand what he say. Do you know what he say? Oh, uh, well, I don't speak dog, but it looks like his leg's in real bad shape. That's why he didn't run away. Huh? Really? Well, okay. Boo hoo, you guys! Then get scared and run away! Uh. Now run away! Huh? Why he no run away? Boo hoo him! <laughs> well, look at that. He's just happy that you made him feel better. I think he likes you now, Mr. Boo. Like Boo? He like Boo? That's right. He likes you. Hmm? He like you? You like Boo? Huh? Well, uh, yeah, that's right. <laughs> Boo kind of happy. Well, uh, he, he actually does seem happy. Um, uh, <laughs> Mr. Boo, sir, uh, may I ask you something? Well, uh, why are you uh, killing people and, uh, and destroying their homes? Because Bibbity and Bobbity told Boo to do that! And, uh, who are they again? You know, there, uh, Boo, uh, you shouldn't listen to bad guys like them. Y you see, uh, it's not good to, to kill people and break things. You think Boo should not do that? Well, uh, yeah, uh, yes. Okay, Boo, stop! Huh? You, uh, won't kill people anymore? Yeah. And no more destruction? I did it! I actually did it! I really am a hero, aren't I? This is it, boss! This has got to be Mamajin Boo's house! What the hell are you shaking for? I told you, this is gonna be a piece of cake! After all, we've killed a whole bunch of people. What's one more? Well, yeah, but this guy's a margin. Listen up. Boo's killed so many people around the world that people will think anyone we've killed was killed by him. Let's do this! Why do you think Mr. Satan is hanging out with Martin Boo like that? <laughs> Who gives a crap? We'll just kill them both! Then we'll be the heroes! What? 
<laughs> die? What are you talking about? What's going on? Unable to be contained any longer, the evil within Majin Buu came bellowing out and formed into another Majin Buu. The one singular Majin Buu now stood divided, split between his innocent side and his evil side. Rendered weaker from the split, the original Majin Buu stood no chance against his evil counterpart and was ultimately absorbed by him. me. While Goten and Trunks entered the final stages of their fusion training, Piccolo and Dende kept a watchful eye over Majin Buu and Mr. Satan. Unbelievable! Hey, uh, what's going on, Piccolo? Don't you feel the change in Majin Buu's energy? Huh? That monster's changed, and it's all because of that brain-dead Earthling. Now Boo's pure evil, not to mention even stronger than before. Huh. Huh. No, we aren't safe here. Majin Boo now has the power to sense our energies. Show me! Huh? Show me! Uh, show you? Uh, what do you want us to show you? Show me the guy to fight! You promised me a fight! He must be here. I could feel a very large power. Uh, we do have people here to fight you. But they're sleeping right now. They're gearing up for their fight with you. Wake them up! I hate waiting! <sighs> Damn it. We're out of options. We have to sacrifice the remaining survivors. Wish them back with the Dragon Balls. It's the only way we can stall Majin Buu. Th that's right! You did say you were going to kill everyone on Earth, right? There are still plenty of people left to kill. Take care of them first, then you can fight. Hmm. <laughs> oh, no! Ah! 
I killed everyone on Earth. Now I can fight. Show me the guys to fight! <laughs> Fine. I'll show you. But you're going to have to wait. They've been sleeping, and they need to get ready. No! Mr. Satan's daughter here wants you to wait as well. <laughs> really? You're right. She smells like Satan. Okay, I'll wait. But only a little. Go wake up Trunks and Goten and get them into the hyperbolic time chamber, now! Might not be much, but they could still get a few days of training in. Uh, right. Piccolo was able to buy Goten and Trunks time to train, but Majin Buu's patience was finally wearing thin. Piccolo had no choice but to escort the irritated Majin Buu to the hyperbolic time chamber. Here it is. You took a long time getting here! Hopefully I stalled him long enough. One minute out here is six hours in there. They should have been able to get a week's training done. Hopefully. Hmm. Is that them? Yes. Please, let this work. Right now, we need a miracle. Let's do it! Okay! Fusion! Ha! Hmm? They can turn into a Super Saiyan even after fusing! You all right? You got any more powerful attacks? <laughs> you bet I do. You just wait. But I kind of want to scare Piccolo a bit. That'd be more exciting. I it's no use. 
I don't have enough energy to pull off any more of my awesome moves. It's all over now. This world is as good as gone. <laughs> What? It's the end of the line for you, Majin Boo. Because I just completely destroyed the only thing connecting this place to the world outside of it. All of us are now trapped in here for the rest of our lives. What? <clears throat> the only thing you can do is kill us and spend an eternity all by yourself. In this vast and empty space. Why... What about my... Favorite sweets? No sweets here. None. What gives, Piccolo? Why didn't you tell me you were gonna do that? I was planning on using my super awesome move and stuff. Wh hey! You said you didn't have any of your power left. I was acting, you know, to make things a little more dramatic. Idiot! Dr why make things more dramatic at a time like this? Hurry up and fix the entrance, you stupid green party pooper! I can't fix it, you cocky little spoiled brat! I hate this place! <laughs> Huh? Piccolo, what's that? Uh, I don't believe it. H how did he... Uh, he used his massive energy to rip a hole between dimensions. <laughs> no! It's gone! What was that noise just now? Lucky! Oh! Majin Boo! This is perfect! I was just getting hungry! What should I turn you into? I know chocolate! It's no use. We can't even open a tiny hole. <laughs> well, I guess I'm gonna have to use it after all. What, what do you mean? <laughs> Take a guess. Just do! Beats the hell out of me! But I do know I'm super duper strong now! Anyway, we got more important things to do now, right? Tell me what you did to everyone here, right now! <laughs> They're here. 
for a limited time, you know. You're gonna have to wait an hour to see this awesome hair again. Uh, uh. Huh. Interesting. He's getting weaker. Maybe not physically, but mentally, he's suffering. <laughs> Say goodbye! You are not gonna be able to come back after this! I'm gonna vaporize every last bit of you! What? Meanwhile, in the land of the Kais, Gohan continued to undergo the ritual to unleash even more of his latent power. Goku and the others kept their eyes glued to Elder Kai's crystal ball as they followed Gotenks' battle with Majin Buu. Uh, no way! They're back to normal now! Hey! Can you pick up the pace, Gramps? I don't know about you, but the kids are running out of power over here. Are you serious, Dad? Yeah, at this rate, they're goners. All right, off you go. I actually finished about five minutes ago. You're finished? Five minutes? Why didn't you tell me sooner? You fool! Sending you off when the situation is dire is much more dramatic. Oh, no. I'd better hurry or I'm not going to make it. Okay, so how am I supposed to become this ultimate warrior? What do you mean? You turn into that super whatever all the time. It's like that. Just fire yourself up and you'll see. It's like turning into a super saiyan, huh? Uh, okay. This is... Incredible! Do you see this, Dad? Yeah! It really is incredible! To Earth, before things go so far that they can't be undone! Allow me to send our new hero to his destination. Sorry I can't join you, Gohan. I wish I could, but I gotta stay here. I wish for a lot of things. 
I wish I could have seen you grow up. Dad! This is probably the last time I'll see you, Gohan. At least until you die. Good luck, son. Show Majin Buu what you can do! I will. I'll take my leave now. We're counting on you. Right. Uh... I've got a small request, Kibito. Could I ask for a change of clothes? I'd like an outfit just like my dad's. I want to honor him when I fight. Hmm, yes, I see. Consider it done. Well, let me see. It was the color of the excrement produced by the frogs on Popol, yes? Um, it's orange, actually. This is perfect! Thank you, thank you very much. I'm going now. We will be praying for your success as we watch from the land of the Kais. Goodbye. Give my regards to the others. Don't worry, I've got this. All right, time to go. Goten, Trunks, Piccolo, hang in there. I hope I can make it. This'll be a cinch. There they are. We're really screwed now. Our fusion time ran out. We're gonna get killed, aren't we? Might not be able to do much, but I'll join in as well. We'll go down fighting, giving it our all. <laughs> What is this energy? Someone's coming! Gohan's triumphant return. It's my brother! My brother's here! Thank goodness. I made it. Gohan! My brother's here! Hooray! He wasn't dead after all! Oh, that's Gohan? There's something different about his energy. He seems more confident. Maybe that could be why I didn't recognize him. Where's everyone else? They're gone. Majin Buu killed them all. Even Mom? And Dende? Yeah, we're the only ones left. <laughs> they were yummy. I ate every last one of them. They make good chocolate. No, he's wrong. It's faint, but I can sense some key. <sighs> <laughs> Don't tell me you're going to fight me. No, I'm going to kill you.
right thinking, Gohan. Thanks. Sure. I can't believe he blew himself up! So is Boo... dead? No. Then what happened? Did he run away? I can't feel his energy anymore. He has the power to mask his key. He's hiding and waiting for his chance to attack! Uh, I'm not sure about that. But it did seem like he was up to something. If he is alive, he's not gonna be for much longer. <laughs> that guy could barely lay a finger on Gohan. I'd say he was about as strong as our Super Gotenks. He was stronger. Oh, yeah? Hmm. Maybe a little bit. That reminds me, Gohan. Where the hell did you get all this power? Whoa, that old man sounds pretty cool. What about the Dragon Radar? Who has it? Oh, right. I have it with me. But with Dende gone, the Dragon Balls, they're pretty useless. No, they're not. Dende's still alive. His key's faint, but you can still feel it, right? What? Oh, yeah, you're right. Let's go and meet up with him. I'm picking up a small what? amount of key from someone else. What? 